Hello students, welcome to BTEC 360. We're going to cover BIT examination today. You know, as I keep telling you, there are about six examinations that you must keep an eye on. Of course, JE and JE Advanced for you to get into IITs. Then JE, of course, uh, for the NITs itself. So one is that examination. Then you actually have BITSAT for the four campuses in, around BITS Bilani, uh, Hyderabad, Goa and Dubai. And the third examination I would want you to keep an eye on is the BIT examination. The reason why this happens is the intake of BIT University is very high across multiple campuses. So you actually have a better chance of getting into one of the BIT campuses in the course of your choice. That's very important for you to understand, right? So what we'll talk about is the reason why you should keep VT as an option. And we'll talk of the campuses, the selection process, the eligibility criteria, the placements, etc. We'll cover all those things at this point in time, right? Now let's look at the campuses that accept the VT score. If you want to appear for the VT examination, VAT Vellore, of course, you know, it's a deemed to be university. So VAT Vellore, of course, accepts the score. Then VAT Chennai, which is an off-campus of VAT Vellore, also accepts the score. BIT AP is a separate state private university. It's a private university. This also accepts the score. BIT Bhopal is another state private university. Right. And then you have BIT Bangalore, uh, uh, and which is a small campus. It's an now, BIT Bellore is actually a deemed university, which means it, it can have campuses outside of the state of Tamil Nadu also. So, you actually have Bellore and Chennai for sure, and then you also have the Bangalore campus. And then they've recently opened a campus in Mauritius also, which is BIT Mauritius. For all these, for the BTEC programs, BIT is the standard score. In fact, BIT is one of those universities that doesn't accept any student from any other uh, examination other than those who have taken the VT examination only. Just be very, very clear about this, that you should appear for the VT examination to get into any of the campuses here. Without the VT examination score, you cannot get into any of the VAT campuses. So this is deemed university. This is also deemed university. This is deemed university. And this is also deemed university. But it, it's a off campus of the deemed university. In the sense, you'll get a BTEC degree from here, right? Now, what is BIT Vellore? BIT Vellore was established in 2001. In the sense, it became a deemed university in 2001. It was established in my opinion in 1990 somewhere, 94 if I'm not wrong, right? It's a deemed private university, spread over 372 acres of land. So it's a massive campus in that sense. The NRF ranking all India across public and private is 16th best engineering college in the country, which also means that it's one of those that you must keep an eye on. If you understand 16th best, it means that a lot of IITs and NITs are much below VIT Vellore at this point in time in terms of the ranking by the government of India. I am now only talking about the government of India ranking. The total students in the campus across the campus is 34,957. This is a data for VIT deemed university only. We are no longer talking of the state private university which is AP and Bhopal or even Mauritius. We are talking of VIT Vellore, Chennai and uh, uh, possibly Bangalore also is not there. It's only VIT Vellore and Chennai in that sense, right? Of this, 77% are boys and 23% are girls, right? About 72%, 73% students come from outside the state of Tamil Nadu, which essentially means that it's such a good university that people want to come from all over the place. And about 4% students come from outside the country. These are students from foreign lands wanting to come and study at BIT Vellore, which is where this happens. So when you have 1,376 students coming from outside the country to study at BIT Vellore, it obviously means that it's got good traction that they actually want to come and study here. Now, Chennai was established in 2010. It's an off-campus of VAT Vellore and in 192 acres of land. It's a very beautiful campus again. VAT AP is a separate state private university. Right. It's a separate state private university and spread across 200 acres of land. VAT Bhopal also is a state private university across 300 acres of land. Both these are recent additions for these people. Bangalore and Mauritius is an off-campus of VAT Vellore. They give a degree. I, the exact nature, I don't know, but they give a degree of VAT Vellore. The faculty for the 37,000, if you remember the number of students who are studying there, if you re remember, about 36,000 students are here. For that, the faculty details, when you look at this, they, there are about 3,154 faculty. 3,154. Of which 2,970 or about 3,000 are permanent faculty. Of which 2,400 are uh, in a PhD faculty, which is about 80% uh, of them are PhD faculty. Now, this is 2324 data. All the data that we are talking of is 2324. We still don't have data of 2425 from the government of India. We do have it from the university itself, but we want to rely on the government of India data because it's filed an affidavit, which means it's got reasonable assurance of correctness in that sense. Right? Now, 
when you look at the NRF, I told you that we are only looking at government data. So when we look at the data of in terms of placements for the year 23-24, 5,954. Remember, this is only for VAT Velour is what we're talking about. We're not talking of AP and Bhopal and all those things. We're only talking of VAT Velour. And the data that we're presenting here is VAT Velour because that's the thing. Like, if you look at this, it's Velour Register of Technology. This is what we're talking about, right? Now, when you look at that data in 23-24, 5,964 students graduated. Of which 4,031 students were placed. And the median salary is close to 9 lakh, 8.99 lakh. Now, when you actually are able to place about 4,000 plus students in this kind of a format and that 9 lakh median salary, it means that the right kind of companies are coming in and they're recruiting at scale because of which that 8 lakh, 9 lakh median salary can happen, right? So from that perspective, this is placing most of its students is what we can understand. Even before that also, you can actually see the graduating versus placed and all and there, there seems to be a great, decent traction in terms of the kind of placement that is happening in this institution, right? Now, when you look at the overall data of VAT Velour, in 2324, 6,184 students were admitted, 5,964 students graduated, 4,031 students were placed, opted for higher studies is 1,255, 85.6% students were placed at a median salary of 8.99 lakh. Right, that is what it seems to be happening. There is one thing if you notice very carefully, 22, 23, there were higher numbers. If you see this, 7,053 and 5. So there seems to be some something that happened here because of which the numbers have seemed to have come down by about 900 numbers. And that can be because Chennai was excluded and they showed uh, here, it's only the Vellore campus that they're showing. There seems to be some kind of a, a you know, uh, numbers that are not matching up. And that is because possibly here, in this part of it, they only took the Vellur campus and not the Chennai campus. I, I'll get at that at some point in time. But the data that's there with the government of India for both these years is what we compile for your interest, for your understanding. So that you get to know how the kind of placement is. About 86% placement, about 9 lakh median salary is what you're dealing with when you get at VAT Vellur. And the important thing here is the kind of, you know, chances that you get into VAT Vellur. We're talking about two, two and a half lakh. Uh, you know, applications that are coming in and about all put together across the campus, you have about 12, 15,000 students being recruited. So what you're dealing with is a chance of getting into the institution at 1 is 20 kind of a ratio, which is very decent. In fact, it can be 1 is to 15 also. What is the scholarship availability? There is a witty merit scholarship requires maintaining the academic criteria specified in the admission award letter each year. So every year you need to hit a CGP and only then you will continue to get the scholarship. And there are sports scholarship and 100% tuition fee waiver for all the four years. If you get a rank of 1 to 10, in witty examination. Now, what is the examination mode? It is online and remote proctored. It's over 2 hours 30 minutes, 125 questions, 500 marks, so 4 marks for each correct answer, 4 marks for each, and there is also a negative mark also. So, you should be careful about attempting the entire thing. Mathematics, uh, what are the sections? Mathematics slash biology, depending on which branch of BTEC you're taking. Physics, chemistry, aptitude in English is compulsory in which ways, right? Now, what is the application deadline? We're talking of last date of online application is March 31st. Exam is between April 20th and May 3rd, right? Result declaration is second week of May and online counseling is second week of May. That's what they've announced at this point in time. Typically, these people, they do the counseling right after the JE exam results are declared so that, you know, people are pushed to the uh, join them as early as possible. Now, when we looked at the alumni that is out there of VIT uh, University, uh, VIT Vellor, there are 2,6,000 students we found on LinkedIn who studied at VIT, 2,6,000. When we actually dug further and tried to understand what they studied at VIT, about 55,000 studied computer science, 21,000 did electrical, 2,000 because new branch is artificial intelligence, and computer engineering is 17,000, right? So that's the kind of numbers that you have, the four biggest branches what we talked of. 85% of the students who studied at VIT Vellur are right now working in India, which also means that about 15.5% people are working outside of India, which this happens typically when the companies that come for placement are good enough that they're, you know, multinational companies and through your career growth pattern itself, you actually move out of India in a career growth pattern, which seems to have happened here, because 84.44% students are working in India, essentially means that 15.5% students are working outside of India. When you dig further deep, you realize that about 8.66% 8 or 17,019 students of VIT Vellore are right now in United States of America, right? Which essentially means that these students are right now 
who studied at VIT are in US and that is a big number to deal with. Canada about 2,777, UK about 2,702, Germany 1,851, UAE 1,117. So if you look at the numbers, the large number of students who studied at VIT Vellore who are all over the world. And that's a very good sign for you if you study here. Now when you look at the data in terms of where are some of these students working in the big companies, the trillion dollar companies, and we looked at Mang, which is Meta, Apple, Amazon, Netflix, and Google, you realize that quite a few of these students are right now working in these big companies. Meta, about 186 students are working. Apple, 241 students are currently working. Amazon, 1304 students are working. Netflix, seven of them are working. And Google, 414 students are coming. Which also means that these companies actually go for placement here because of which so many students seem to be working here. These are the number of students who worked at some point in time and these are currently working. So obviously people join that place. It's been there for a long, long time. So they join the place and move on to a better prospect. Which would have happened in this particular case. But so many are working, which is a good sign at this point time and if you want me to cover any examination any college please write to me on in the message box here i'll be more than happy to deal with that because our idea is to dig deeper for your benefit so that you can decide based on objective data information and all and we're all here to help you get into the best engineering college of your choice right so uh, just write to me as a message if you want to be counseled by any of our counselors write you know messages on this number and one of our counselors will call you up thank you so much namaste